Hey guys, this is Siraljit Gupta, your friend in internet marketing. And today I want to talk a little more about email cheat. After I put this software out, I got many questions, a lot of feedback and suggestions. And just as always, I've been working hard on things, tweaking and improving stuff to make sure that things work as my buyers expect them to be. Well, it's a tough job because even after testing as much as I do, I know that computer configurations differ, network configurations differ, and that creates all sorts of incompatibilities that I have to repair. So I've released a couple of updates over the last couple of days and more are going to come out. But in this video, I want to talk about how to use some of the features of email cheat. So let's begin with the basic setups of the mailing accounts. The first thing I want to show you is how to set up the SMTP account. Now that's very simple. What you need to do is click on add and that will show you the add accounts window. You can add a lot of different kinds of account. You can add SMTP, SendGrid, Mailgun, Mailjet, Amazon, Postmark. And I've been asked to uh, add a couple more uh, mailing services like Mandrill. And I'm working on that already. I'll be adding that soon. But today let's start with the basic SMTP setup and let's learn how to get that right. Okay, SMTP is the simple mail transfer protocol. That's the uh, format or that's the transfer protocol through which emails are sent over the internet. And most of the SMTP communication happens over port 25, which is set by default. This port is the port that needs to be open on your network by your ISP for email JIT to be able to send emails, right? So port 25 needs to be open or if port 25 is not open, some other port for sending emails, some other SMTP port should be open. Now let's talk about what you need to fill in these boxes. The from box is the standard from uh, address that you wanna fill in. So you can fill something like this, uh, your name, and the email address that you want people to see on their screen. So I'm putting an email address and I'm putting my name. So this way people will see my name over there and the email ID. Now some of you had asked me uh, how to put in the names because there's apparently no separate box for typing the name. That's because in email format, in email uh, specifications, all you need to do to put in your name instead of your email ID is use this format in which you write your name or whatever uh, name of entity, name of company that you want to use, put an angular bracket and then write the email ID. So just put the email in angular brackets and write your name before it. When people get the email, it will have your name over there instead of the email ID or instead of the uh, text before the at symbol. All right, so this is how you put your name. That's one question answered for people. The second thing you need is the SMTP address or the SMTP server address. Now this would be typically something like mail.yourserver.com because that's what most most of the uh, servers use these days, just uh, mail domain, mail.yourserver.com. So you can actually find this information out in your email configuration. So if you got something like uh, cPanel, you can go into cPanel, create your email ID that can uh, be used, that can be used to send the email from, and check out the sample configurations over there the server address will be listed over there. So make sure you enter the correct server address. And then you need the username. The username would typically be your email ID uh, that you are uh, using to uh, send the email from. So it would be something like Cyril at test.com or whatever you have. Sometimes it's also uh, just the username, just like, you know, just like Cyril without the complete email ID, but typically it's the email ID. And again, you can find this information 
in your cPanel or in your host getter setup or whatever hosting you have, whatever VPS you have, you can find this information over there. And the last thing you need is the password. So just enter the password, whatever you want. It's visible, it's not hidden so that you can see it. It's a program that's on your computer that nobody else should have access to. So uh, we are not trying to hide the password for you. Anyway, these are your marketing emails. So these shouldn't be your main uh, email box or your main email inbox. Right, so after you've entered these details, Email Jeet should be able to send the emails to your clients and your clients should see the email in their inbox. Now some of you have come to me and told me that apparently Email Jeet is sending those mails but they are not showing up at your client's inbox. Now this is happening because on your uh, server or on your sorry on your ISP the port 25 is blocked or the port that you're trying to send the email from is blocked. Some ISPs do not open the port 25 uh, or give a different port for SMTP or use a different port for SMTP. Sometimes they are actually uh, uh, you know, locking this on purpose and you have to request them to open the port before they will open it. So what you need to do is ask your ISP, are they blocking port 25? Ask them what is the port that is open for SMTP and if they're blocking it, you can ask them to open it and enter that port number in the box over there. So that is the thing which is missing most of the time. Your port 25 is locked and you need to find out from your ISP what to do about that. So like I said, once your SMTP details are filled in correctly with the from address, the server address, the username and the password, all you need to do is click save and of course provide the name for it. So SMTP test, whatever I want and save. And then if you send an email from uh, this account, it will be sent correctly. So uh, that, that's what's lacking, that's what's missing mostly. The SMTP address is not uh, configured uh, correctly or the port, SMTP port is blocked, which you need to fix with your ISP. So I'm going to send an SMTP email now and I'm going to use one of the emails that I got from my clients, one of the emails that I uh, got about this from my clients and I'm gonna hide the username and password of course so that you can see uh, You know what the details are But these are the SMTP details that I got from one of my buyers who's not able to send an email From his computer. So I entered the very same details that he gave me and I saved them and when I send an email now When I click on send it's being sent it will be sent so you can see that it's already sent and if I go to my Gmail inbox I can see the mails over there from his email ID so the mail is being sent what you need to do is make sure the SMTP server is configured correctly and that your SMTP port is open the next thing I want to show you is how to use uh, the name token to send emails with client name with lead names in them and that's pretty easy what you need to do first is import a CSV file instead of just a list of emails we will import a CSV file which will have the names of the person and the uh, email ID so I'm just gonna pick out a, 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 a name for this list and click save and then of course I need to choose the CSV file so I'm gonna pick out one of the CSV files in my um, database so let's pick up one CSV file and now you'll be asked to select the columns which represent the email and the name so I'm gonna put the name call up I'm gonna pick the email column and then I'm gonna put the pick the name column when that's done click on save and email Jeet is importing these emails into your database along with the names. Right, so I've got about 15K people in this test list. And if I want to write to them, I can just do this. Hi, 
put my name to token which is like the word name or the text name in curly brackets and when email jeet sends this mail it will automatically replace the name token with the name of the person wherever it's available and where it's not available it will be empty so this is a test mail from me when i send this it will be uh, you know all of these names will be replaced by the name of the person so that's one easy thing that you can do right now to uh, make sure that your uh, mail is personalized that it's going through with the person's name i'll be coming back to email g you know over the next few days with a few updates i've got some feature requests from people people have asked me to create an opt-in system that lets them collect opt-ins from the internet now initially when i when i actually decided to make this software i thought that there were there were a number of tools that you can use to do this number of free tools in fact so i don't need to reinvent the wheel or i don't need to do this but the market has actually come to me and told me that we need this and we want very close very uh, you know accurate integration with email jeet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a system an online opt-in form creation system that you can embed in any website you will get an html code that you can put on any website to collect opt-ins which will go to your list online on our server which will be tightly integrated with email jeet which means email jeet will go to the server get those leads for you populate them in the leads box without any hassles and that is coming up soon i have already started work on that so watch this space you know bear with me for about a week or two while i build this feature it will be available to you free of cost for the first year because i'm going to have to maintain a server for that so there'll be a cost after the first year it'll be a nominal cost just enough to help me pay the cost of the server that i'm running but for the first year it's gonna be absolutely free the opt-in system the second thing that i'm gonna create in email jeet for you is a way to modify the emails right inside the program so right now what you can do to uh, remove your unsubscribe if, you know if you're using something like stand grid they will give you a list of people who are unsubscribing for you from you or who have unsubscribe unsubscribed from you so uh, you can just download that list put it in a csv file then extract the email ids put it in a text file then all you need to do is right click here click on remove emails and just select the emails that you want to remove in a text file and email jeet will automatically remove those emails from the list that it's got and you will have a fresh list without the unsubscribes or whatever emails you want to remove so that's pretty easy right now but to make it easier what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a system in which people can actually see the email ids which are in email jeet's database right now and if they want they can delete the ids one by one so that's also coming up in email jeet watch out for my mails i will be sending you updates i will be sending you more emails about email jeet and i've been asked to include mandrill make mandrill one of the options available so i'm gonna do that too in the coming few days i'm already exploring the mandrill api and i'm gonna do that one last tip that i want to give you before i sign out is how to send emails if your smtp port is blocked well in that case we have a solution what you can do is instead of using your free smtp port you can open an account with a service like mailgun or sendgrid or amazon and type in the information from their settings from their settings put in the mail settings for the api and email jeet will use the apis to send emails through these services not through smtp so the emails will go even if your smtp is blocked because we will be using the apis now 
where to get these settings from that's a very important question because some of the people have told me that they are having some confusion about where to get the settings from for each service now typically when you open an account these settings would be available in settings or configuration menu now i don't have an account running with all of these services right now but i want to show you typically where these settings are available for example these this is the you know a login screen that i get when i sign into mailgun and of course i'm hiding my secret information like my api key and my public api key which you can't see so when you click on a domain which you're using to uh, mail from mailgun you will see domain information which has all the information you need to activate this in email cheat so when you go to email cheat you will see that you need the from id the api key and the domain name and all of this information is available over here like the api key which i'm hiding the domain name and all my passwords and everything so you can get this information paste it into email jeet and that's all it takes similarly all of the software that we have that we are integrated with all of these services like sendgrid like mailjet like amazon have these features and you can access the api settings easily just by looking into their settings menu just by looking into their configuration menu and if you have any problems i want to give you a suggestion just type and google for the api that you want to use for example if you want to use sendgrid api click on sendgrid api settings in google if you want to use mailgun type in mailgun api settings in google and if you want to use amazon amazon api settings whatever you want type that in google it and you would be taken to a documentation page you will find documentation page which will explain exactly how to put in those api settings now they are fairly accessible because all of these services they want you they want you to use the apis because the apis are faster and they put a lesser load on their server so please use the apis whenever you can that's why i've integrated them into this software that's why this feature is there so i hope all of this information was helpful to you and you will use it to make mailing easier and friendlier and you will watch out for my new updates which are coming soon i'm talking about a free opt-in script that integrates closely with email jeet and also newer features newer uh, capabilities in this software one more thing i want to show you just before i sign out is throttling now if you're sending an email through your smtp server the server owner the server isp might want to block you or they might block you if you send too many emails in very little time so in that case what you would typically want to do is throttle your emails so for example if i put in uh, throttle and send only 300 emails per hour then email jeet will not send more than 300 emails per hour which it will space across that one hour so this is the one way you can make sure that you're able to mail from SMTP without getting your account banned. I want to tell you it's important to be educated about your SMTP capabilities. It's important to know what is allowed and what is not allowed by your service provider and make sure that you stick to the guidelines. And remember email Jeet is a tool, it's a software it can be used for the good it can be used for the bad too so if you are trying to spam from it trust me that will not work you might be able to get one mail through but whatever service provider you're using they will ban you so please use this software carefully in the correct manner and everything is going to be fine you're going to enjoy the results from email cheat if you spam they that will definitely have a bad result